Hey guys, it's Luke from Wired RC, and today got a pretty special video. Um, got this in yesterday in the mail from Leading Edge Machining, um, and what this is is a um, dog carrier um, for the transmission in the Traxxas Summit, <clears throat> and basically all that does is replaces the old dog carrier and um, just eliminates almost all the slop in the transmission. Um, so that's really good. This part's aluminium, and the stock part in the transmission is plastic. Um, and yeah, we're just going to install it today, show you um, the install of it, and then once I get the L the rest of the LT parts in for the LT conversion, um, I'll do a video up and running. So I'll just give you a close up there. Uh, see if I can line up with the camera. There's the um, number for it and all that. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, before I start, I just like to say. Um, the guy that runs Leading Edge Machining um, is a really good guy. Um, I had a few problems with mail um, and stuff like that just because the post service in Australia is terrible. Um, and he was just so helpful and so polite and, you know, um, just was really helping me out. So if you're interested in this or have noticed kind of transmission slop or it takes a while to change gears in your Summit or E-Revo, definitely go over to um, Leading Edge Machining and get yourself one of these. And they've also got a lot of um, other really cool stuff, so definitely check them out. I'll put the link to their website in the description. But um, yeah, I'll start the um, install now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do um, is actually remove the entire transmission from the chassis. Um, and that can seem pretty daunting, but it's actually not too bad. Um, but there's a lot of screws, but it's not hard, so I have taken out most of the screws um, just to get started with, so it's a nice quick video. So first of all, um, if I move this stuff out of the way, we'll see if I can get a um, get the summit in the centre of the shot there. But really, we want to um, take off this cap here. This just covers the pinion, and um, yeah, it's just going to um, make it a bit easier for you because you're going to need to um, have that off. You don't, I don't really think you have to, but. It's just a good idea. Anyway, so next thing that you want to do is just attach the motor. Now this is the wrong size. Uh, let me just get that. So this one here is the right size. It's the thickest one you get. All you want to do is just get in there and um, just take that screw out. As you can see, it's super easy, almost out already. There you go. Screws out, nice silver screw, and that will let you let the motor sit free from the transmission. You don't need to take the motor out, but um, you can if you want. So there you go. I'll just lay that over there. But that's the motor out. Um, so I guess if you ever wanted to take your motor out, you could do that. And that's how you do it. Um, so now you've got this transmission wobbling in here. Um, now the reason for that is because the transmission, uh, you may or may not know, um, links down with the center drive lines here. Um, but there's the skid plate protecting it. Now this actually has a lot of screws. Um, I'm not even going to bother to count them now. But um, it's, there's a lot of screws and I have removed them already. But what you need to do is it, it's once you remove the screws it's loose but it's held on by this. So just um, so I'll take that off. So there's the this bit in here that connects to the servos. I can't remember what it's called offhand now. But basically just take the screw out of there. It's a um, quite a long screw. It just goes in there, and um, then you can lift it up to get this bit off. And once you got that off, set it aside, um, which exposes the centre drive lines through here. So I'll get a close-up shot for you guys, um, so you can see this a bit better. Um, there's my motor dangling there, but basically, in with the drive lines, the transmission is there. And to detach the drive lines from the transmission, um, inside the, tri the drive lines, uh, I'll spin around, there you go. You can see there's, um, oh, not them, sorry. This side, if it will let me turn it, there is little screws just in those holes, little grub screws. And um, if you take them out, the transmission should just pop right out. So I'll do that now. Um, so now you've got these two screws removed on the inside. Um, we'll remove the big one first. There you go. Don't shake it. Just put a bit of put a bit of pressure on it on an angle. And you should be able to pull it out with that. So 
with those two screws now it should be able to pull back and um, lift it out. Okay, so um, my drive line was being particularly difficult. You're meant to just remove two grub screws, slide it back, uh, and that should be the end of that. But that wasn't the case with mine, and I can see now that it wouldn't have happened anyway. Um, so I'm not sure how you would have done it otherwise. Um, but that was apparently how you did it. Um, so in the end, I just um, took this bit off here and um, just took it off that way so if you have the same problem as me you can do that okay so I've um, got the transmission loose here as you can see um, I've tried to reposition the camera a bit to get it up close but um, it's not perfect um, so now there is hang on I'll just put this motor back um, there's a little screw that holds on the I'm not sure how well you're gonna see it a little screw that holds on the um, little gear changing servo Okay, so we've actually got the transmission free after removing that screw here. The transmission is finally free, and um, this was the little screw that you had to remove. Um, so what I'm going to do is set the, the summit itself aside, and um, we'll just be focusing on the transmission here. Okay, so we've repositioned the camera a little bit so you can see it a bit close up. So here's the transmission just by itself. Um, pretty cool. So, what what you want to do now um, is there's actually six screws on the case of the transmission to open it up. Um, but before we do that, I'll just show you this um, leading edge machining, machining sorry, um, up a bit closer, and um, I'll open it up. So, there you go. So there is the piece itself. We've got dirty fingers from um, moving transmissions and whatnot. But um, this is the piece, and um, what we'll do is just go ahead and put it inside the transmission now. So we've got the got the part here. Um, I'll just make this nice and quick. Um, so we've got to just open up those screws on the transmission. Um, all right. So. I'll probably just um, stop this now and then I will cut back once they're all off. Okay, so we've got the final screw removed. We're just going to carefully remove the case on the transmission. Uh, there we go. So we've got the transmission separated here. Um, now this bit, uh, we're not interested. This is the bit where the dog carrier is actually on. Um, and all you want to do is just um, take it off this little pillar here so just going to slide this bit up and off and um, then take this bit out put our new one on and slide it back on Okay, so here we go. I've got the new dog carrier on in position. Um, this is the old one. I would probably keep it, but you don't really need it, so just hold on to that one. And then all you got to do from here is just put your transmission. Whoops, that is the yeah, that's the right way. Put your um, transmission back together. Okay, guys. So the transmission's all back together. New dog carrier in and working um, now there's actually no slop um, at all in that um, that's awesome I can't even twist it so yeah that's really good the new transmission has absolutely no slop that I can tell um, with the new dog carrier in it so a really worthwhile upgrade um, I would definitely recommend doing it um, and as for putting it back in, you just got to do everything reverse. So put your screws back in your transmission, um, slot the transmission down, and put the drive lines in the same way you took them out. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked it and want to see more. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.